You! Come here. Mother, mother. There's a Roman soldier. Where is the house of Alpheus, the leather worker? I, I don't know. This is the village at Far East, isn't it? Yes, sir. I wouldn't too far from guessing games. Now, where will I find Alpheus? You passed the street, sir. It's the second one back there. Run quick by the back way and warn your father. And it's the third. No, the fourth house. If it isn't, I'll be back. It is, sir. I swear it. You're looking for Elvius, sir? Yes. Uh, he's not in there, sir. He left the village two days ago. There's no one in there, sir. It's too dangerous. We shouldn't stay here another moment. Who puts people to death? The Romans. No one there, eh? When they execute a leader, Keep going. Fast! Please, at least wait till we've had facts instead of rumors. All we've heard is mere gossip about some rabbi having been put to death in Jerusalem. A young rabbi from Galilee. How many men fit that description? More than one. Remember, my friend, Eltheus' kinsman is traveling with the Nazarene. Surely he'd let us know if any trouble had arisen. If he had executed with all the others, you stay and greet the Roman swords, not me. But if you take my advice, you'll scatter before it's too late. Which of you is Altheus? I'm not. Uh, not I. I. I was just leaving. If you'll excuse me. I am Altheus. And these men are merely my guests for the evening. Thomas said I might find others meeting with you. Men will say anything under torture. I. We just stopped him for a moment. Our interest is in God, uh, not in any revolt against Rome. And I'm here on my own business, not Caesar's. Your cousin Thomas has been delayed in Jerusalem. When he found out I was traveling this way, he asked me to give you a message. My name is Cornelius. Oh. Welcome to my home. Rachel, water and linen for our guest, my dear. Then food and wine. Let me have your helmet. Long journey over those mountains. And a dusty one. Out and look around. This may be a Roman trap. There now. I feel better. And the message from Thomas? It does it concern the Nazarene named Jesus? Was he put to death? We're simply curious, that's all. My cousin, has he been arrested? And what are the Galileans <laughs> of the problem? <laughs> one at a time, one at a time. Your cousin is free and in good health. So are all the Galileans' close followers. Uh, that is all but one, Judas of Cariath, who died by his own hand. And the Galilean? He is dead. He was... Oh, he was crucified. Oh, no. For what reason? Wait, let me go on. Thomas said, tell all you know. Leave out nothing. Uh, shall we make ourselves comfortable? Up to a month ago, I was stationed to the north, beyond the Sea of Tiberias, which you call Galilee. There, my band had the luck to capture a thieving murderer called Barabbas. Oh, Barabbas. Barabbas. Oh, no, oh, oh I know, I know. You've heard of him as a patriot of the people, leader of a zealot band. But if you'd had your outpost brutally massacred, your young sentry's knife in the back, you'd... <sighs> well, well, at any rate, we cornered him. We crushed his rebel army, put him in chains, marched him to Jerusalem for the honor of being sentenced to death by the procurator. I gave my testimony and listened as Pilate tried to question the prisoner. But Barabbas sneered at the governor, refused to answer, and when sentence of death was passed, cursed as the soldiers led him off to prison. I was commended in order to stay in the city with my men until the end of the Passover feasts.
Nigerian. Longinus. Where in the empire did you drop from? Six months ago, Carthage, before that, Alexandria. Welcome to duty in the city. How'd you know I'd drawn that? What do you think suggested keeping you here to the procurator? Maneuver to share his quarters with you. This way, we'll take the shortcut through the okay. temple courtyard. Well, they've, they've changed things around since I was last here. Changed? It used to look like a stockyard. Bullocks and goats, sheep and pigeons for sacrifices. Money changes tables over there. They were until three days ago. And the new young teacher, a man from the north, drove them out single-handed. One man? One man. <laughs> to be exact, that man. Jesus bar Joseph from Nazareth in Galilee. I think I've heard of him. If you'd arrived here four days ago, you'd have heard of nothing else. Oh? Last Sunday morning, I had a report of trouble at the Gate of the Lily. So I went down to investigate. The next thing I knew, I was caught up in a crowd shouting, Hail the Messiah! Hail to Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews! They threw down their cloaks for him to ride on. He was mounted on a donkey, walking on a carpet of robes and palm branches. I was sure we had a revolution on our hands, but I was jammed so tightly in the mob, I couldn't get out to alert the guard. He rode up to the temple gates, looked at them with tears in his eyes, and went away. Just like that? Just like that. And believe me, I was delighted to see him go. The next morning, he was back here in the temple courtyard, storming at the changes and cellars for turning a sacred place into a thieves' den. They scattered before him like rats. You know he's a man of courage. Well, I wouldn't call the money changes a valiant sort of enemy. Oh, I don't mean just for baiting them, but for having the nerve to come back here. He must realize that the high priest can stand no such right, opposition. Mr. The very stone which the builders rejected has become the head uh -oh. of the corner. What's wrong? They go to a Caiaphas closest age. Let's stroll over and see what's happening. This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. We know that you are true and do not regard the position of men, but truly teach the words of God. Is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? A very choice trap. If he says pay, the entire crowd turns against him. Don't pay and I arrest him for treason. Well, come teacher, answer. Should we pay them or should we not? Why put me to the test? Because of your great authority and wisdom. Bring me a coin. Whose likeness and inscription is on it? Why, Caesar's. Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. <laughs> 